So let's move on to a new screen and let's draw our pudendal nerve now as it comes. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to draw it coming up from this way. And we're going to draw on our perineum and I'm going to represent the perineum by having a pubic symphysis here. I'm going to just draw the triangle basically. So we're going to have the triangle here. This is going to be our ischial tuberosity. Put one on each side. This would be our ischial pubic ramus on each side. So let's just label that. The position of the perineal body would roughly be here. And the sacrotuberous ligament, so it's our sacrotuberous ligament. Draw one of those on each side. We come all the way back to the coccyx here. So that's the coccyx there. So we can draw this imaginary line, or in fact, where the superficial or deep transverse perineal muscles would be. And this gives us our anterior triangle this way. This is our urogenital triangle. And this triangle posteriorly is the anal triangle. So that diamond shaped perineum is divided into two triangles. Our perineal nerve is coming in and I'm going to actually, let's have that coming in here and we'll, so this is the main stem of the pudendal nerve. And what we'll do is we'll show it coming in. It will just come in at the point of the ischial tuberosity, roughly in this region here. And let's start to draw it in red as it enters into the anal triangle. And in the anal triangle, we have the opening of the anus, and we also have the sphincter, which I'm going to draw in blue here. And we've got a number of branches of the pudendal nerve as it enters into the anal triangle and particularly the ischial anal fossa. So where the red line is now is really either side of the anal opening and that represents the ischial anal fossa as a continuation of the previous uh, diagram on the other page. We have a number of branches. So the first one, we'll just label them down here. The first one is going to be the inferior rectal nerve and that is going and might be a number of branches coming off here that's the first one you'll see it's the most superficial and it's going to innovate the external anal sphincter and that's a voluntary sphincter which aids in uh, controlling um, defecation essentially a perianal abscess, which may be created in the ischialanal fossa, has a potential to impinge or de innovate the inferior rectal nerve, which can lead to rectal incontinence. This can be through the spread of infection of anal fissures, for example, or infections of anal sinuses as well. So that's our first branch. Our second branch, and we'll just write a number down here, I'm still in red for some reason, that won't matter and we'll draw another branch which is going to come in this region in here. Now this branch is called the perineal nerve. So let's just put that in. And this actually divides into two, and it's not particularly important, but we've got a superficial branch which will continue and it will travel into the urogenital triangle and once in the urogenital triangle will give rise to a superficial branch um, and the largest of the superficial branch are the sensory branches which translate as the posterior scrotal nerve or the posterior labial nerve so posterior scrotal nerve posterior labial nerve is associated with the, this is the superficial branch of the perineal nerve. Okay, and that's number two here. 
as I've written down in the bottom right hand corner. It also has a deep branch, so the deep branch will also enter into the urogenital triangle. This is still a branch of the perineal nerve and the deep branch is motor and it will go into the deep perineal space and the superficial perineal space and innervate the sphincters in the deep perineal space. It will innervate the skeletal muscle inside the superficial perineal space and it will also innervate levator A9 muscle as well. So that's quite a large one which is the deep. So we've got superficial and uh, we have got a deep branch but all belonging to the perineal nerve in there or the perineal branch I should say. So the last branch of the pudendal nerve down here is going to be the dorsal nerve. I should really write this in blue. Dorsal nerve to either the penis or clitoris. Just got about enough room just to write that on. And that particular nerve enters into the deep perineal pouch in here and it passes along the lateral margin of the pouch and then exits by passing inferiorly through the perineal membrane into a position just inferior to the pubic symphysis. So it'll actually come in all the way up here in order to travel along the body of the penis or the shaft of the penis and the body of the clitoris and will course along the dorsal surface of those structures in order to richly innovate the glands of the clitoris and of the penis. And that's the very specialized free nerve endings um, which come back from there, which give very specific sensory information back from those particular areas of the erectile tissue. So let's move on and let's just summarize then by naming these particular branches. So we've got the pudendal nerve. And we know roughly where it goes. It comes from S2, S3, and S4. It courses into the ischial anal fossa, and once it gets in there, which is part of the anal triangle, of course, it branches into three. We have the inferior rectal nerve, or branch. That's the first branch usually seen. We then have the perineal nerve and there is a branching of that into superficial and deep. The deep is motor while the superficial is sensory and not of too much importance but the superficial is going to become the posterior scrotal nerve and the posterior labial nerve depending on gender the deep one is going to all those muscles I mentioned inside the deep and superficial perineal spaces the last one is the dorsal nerve to either the penis or to, to the clitoris. Okay, so really the key ones to remember, really we need to know that, we need to know that, we need to know these branches here. This is all extra in here, so the bit in green it's not super important, but nice to know. Okay, that's a brief overview of the pudendal nerve. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.